Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Princes of Isari, episode, what is this, 10? Woo! Uh, we've fired all the men, they're gone. Yep. Uh, just the ladies left. Yeah. Uh, I somehow snuck through that process. Honorary. <laughs> Honorary female. Uh, alright. So, uh, Bobby is actually trying to join, but having some technical issues, so we'll see if he makes it in. Uh, Ben is uh, going to be out for a little while. Uh, I'll talk about it more in plot reasons later. Uh, and uh, Brandon is, uh, his grandparents are visiting or something like that. So he may or may they're not really nice. at some random time. It's really nice. So. Yeah, they're lovely. Family uh, important. Let's start with an intros of who is here. Up top, we've got Theo and Arid and Eldris. They're the Eldris brothers. You've probably heard of them. Uh, and then on the bottom, we've got our uh, paladin, formerly of the Morning Lord, uh, and now of Mother Night. It is Irina. Pipe in a cold. We have like oh. a Venn diagram of like fighter and paladin, and I'm in the middle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I gotta rearrange all the videos. One sec. <laughs> all right. So last time on Princes of Isari. Um, uh, Previously, you guys had uh, sort of blown up a whole quarter of the city of Mesro. No big deal. Uh, by we killing the lady that controlled the Sphere of Annihilation, and then the Sphere of Annihilation went boom. Right, so we didn't set it off. I just want to be clear. <laughs> well, you did kill me. <laughs> we just... We just murdered someone, and it happened to have that effect. No, we're dire For no real reason. We just decided to. She you was very sketchy. We're like, who do you serve? And she was like, entropy. And I'm pretty sure her eyes lit on fire. And then she was like, nah, and her head turned inside also, out. Also, she had really hair, and we were all jealous. We were all in a really bad mood that night, and we were just like, nah, she looks too good. We were, we were to. all feeling murder hobo -y. We were like, no, we're done. Take this jungle. Let's just kill this lady. <laughs> all right. And then orb. after that, you guys went to the temple at the center of the city, the Temple of Uptau. Oh, oh, and someone did a puzzle. Yes. Yeah, uh, Irina the solved the puzzle, the maze, which opened the doors. Um, and you guys found this really cool portal that like teleported you to different things. And what you did was uh, you all tied ropes to each other and had Dex hold the rope. <gasps> and you guys went to different Oh yeah, rooms. and then Dex tied. Wow, well, well, thanks. I forgot until right now. When suddenly the, the slack on the rope dropped and you came out to find that Dex had a hole through him and a sphere of annihilation hovering over him. And you discovered that this woman who you had killed had a clone and or twin sister. Uh, or is back from the dead. You, I think or is back from the dead. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure she said what happened to my sister. But, you know. Yeah, that's, that's good, good, point. good point. Good point. Uh, <laughs> you guys then scurried back through the portal, ended up in the throne room, climbed out the window, paddled away as fast as you could, uh, and made it out of Mesro before getting caught by them. Uh... And then we all made very nice gifts in honor of Dex. Yep. Yeah, in other words, two very nice gifts from the Eldritch Brothers, and then yeah. a shitty wood carving that had his name probably misspelled on it. <laughs> How do you yeah. misspell that? It's three letters. And Pharaoh yeah, tried to talk I'm, to Flora. I'm capable. I'm capable. <laughs> yeah. And Pharaoh tried to talk to Flora, and she was like, not about it. She spelled it D E K S. -E -S. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Look, I don't think Irene ever got an education. <laughs> from there, you guys headed up the river, continuing towards Kirsabal. Uh, you then got off the river, started carrying your canoes, and heading inland, uh, where you came across, after a heavy tropical storm, 
uh, a gentleman who knocked on your front door looking for food and some work. He just wanted a and job. And he's suspicious. Uh, he was, I wouldn't say V-suspicious. He, he was... definitely lied a lot. He's like, oh, I just happened to be out here. I don't know where I am. Really? Like, he definitely knew where he was. No. Uh, and as he led you guys towards Kirsabal, he did warn you of several uh, hazards to avoid. Uh, and when uh, Koros threw his bird up to examine said hazards, they were legit. So... Oh, yeah, on the path. On the path between you and okay. Kirsten Ball. I thought you meant, like, at Kirsten Ball, and I was like, what nope. is wrong with Kirsten Ball? And then right at the end of the last session, you guys arrived at Kirsten Ball. You could see this ancient monastery overlooking the jungle from its perch on the cliff of a tall plateau. Stone steps and rickety walkways connect the various buildings, the lowest of which is 500 feet above the ground. The main building has a circular maze-like symbol carved into its crumbling facade. Every few minutes, bird folk either land at the monastery or launch themselves from its balconies and take to the sky. So, awesome. City in the Sky, really a bad place for our party. That's the joke I was gonna make. Mm, sorry. Gravity, the number one enemy. <laughs> it's true. Gravity is the enemy. Undefeated. <laughs> you guys have yeah, not defeated gravity, out. and gravity has defeated several of you, so... I have a ring of featherfall. True. Yeah. Well, that's one of us. Yeah. Um, how do we get up there? Oh! Can we mental tele to Salik? Uh, not currently. You what do you mean? Why? You're not connected we haven't seen it. Salik in a bit, right? Do you have to be in rain when you cast? Uh, you select a number of people near you, yeah. Okay, does some of the magic bitches have message? Uh, you have to see your target for message. What's you the one send that you raven? can, like, send a message mentally? Sending? Yeah, that I don't one. think anyone has sending. Wow, all our magic users are idiots. You could send your little raven that has... My pocket raven? Get out my pocket raven. You asked, how do we get up other. there? Eku answers you. Mm -hmm. She oh. says, uh... There is a, a path, uh, some stone ramps and steps cut into the cliff face, oh. um, and some wooden walkways built into the cliff. Oh. Um, but, you know, the ramps and steps are still mostly intact, but the wooden walkways are rotting and missing in some places. We'll have to be careful. Okay. The Arakokra don't really have much need for a walking path up to Kirsten Um, I'm going to ask a pass of Karadros, some shit. I, I hope it's not that bad. Um, I can I is it possible to send the raven to Sophia's mom? You potentially could. Like I'm asking magic wise, like do I need to know the person? Uh I'd have to read the description of your Show the raven uh Sophia and be like, her but older. Go. <laughs> I, I I could do that. Be like, like this one, but not. That seems like a Fia thing to do. It's yeah. your uh, what, what, what is the actual name of the magic item? Figurine of Wedge Power. Got it. I really like them. The other one I considered getting was the set of lions for me and Aridan to ride around. Oh, that would have been awesome. I know, but Raven was... And you have the Silver so. Raven. Yes. At the time, uh, you were really into, like, becoming a raven yourself, so... Animal was, Messenger, yeah. so now I need to pull up another book and look up that spell. <laughs> Sounds, sounds pretty simple. Yeah, I have my animal messenger spell, but I'm pretty sure I need to have been to the place or can see it. Yeah, you specify a location which you must have visited, and a recipient who matches a general description, such as a man or woman dressed in the uniform of the town guard, or a red-haired yeah. dwarf wearing a pointed hat. You okay. also speak a message of up to 25 words. Alright, uh, I'm gonna show the bird to Sophia and be like, describe your mom to this bird. You haven't been to up in Kirsabal before, so. So, whatever. You specify a location which you must have visited. Which you must have a location which you must have visited. I'm visiting you right now. I'm right here. It doesn't have to go far. It's fine. <laughs> let's Koros just, just let's take the path. Koros says, says I have a bird we could use. Fine. All right. <laughs> Trying to outbird me. I see how it is. Technically, it's not a bird. All right. He can send his bird and be like, "Yo, we here. Have your daughter. Trying to visit." Not in, like, a threatening way, like, we have your daughter, but, like, a... We're with your daughter. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, want to visit. Hope you're well. 
Yeah. I feel like that's pretty good. We're on the ground right now. Can you buzz us up? Like, I don't know if she's on the ground also, and I feel like it'd be dumb if we walked all the way up and she was down here. I don't know. Where do they, where do they keep their not bird friends? That's what I'm wondering. Like, great question. Yeah. So, whatever. So, we send the bird off. Well, while that's happening, why don't we climb? Sure. Yeah, we can start heading up. No. Cool. Take. Yeah. Head it up. All right. Uh, so, it's going to be slippery. It's going to be DT sealed. <laughs> so, I, you guys are going to each have to make three checks. The first is a strength athletics check to climb around gaps in the walkway. Sweet. Strength athletics. Cool. Let's do it. Lil, that was a strength save, not strength athletics. Shit. Can you ignore it? Mm hmm. Set your drop down, Nicole. Sorry. Wait, actually, does it. Do you want me to just. Do you, can you just subtract four or do you want me to reroll it? Reroll it, please. <sighs> nice. You did it's better too. than subtracting four. Not All right. Same. You are. Uh, I guess I should roll for everyone else. But no, I just have the no. super athletic no. people roll. Just have us who are good at strength do it. And, and if we, and if two of us mess up, then then it's an average, and then we all fail. It's not a group check. These are individual checks. Pretend it's a group check. Oh, okay. Some other people well, everyone struggle. Everyone else can like fly, right? <laughs> they struggle. It's fine. The the worst case okay. is that you you take some damage. Like, I bet Pharaoh falls, and I have to go catch Pharaoh him. Pharaoh falls a couple times. Ah. Or Aridin has to go catch him. All right. Uh, now I need dexterity acrobatics checks to cross wide gaps in the wooden walkways by jumping along oddly spaced support beams. All right, all right. All right, oh. all right Irina and Eridin, you have a choice you can make. Uh, wow, the failure. DC must be really high. Uh, you can either take uh, some bludgeoning damage from a fall, 3d6, um, or gain one level of exhaustion, which means disadvantage on further ability checks. I'd rather take the damage. Same. All right. So I don't so trust disability. So it's pure damage or disability later? Uh, mm -hmm. Exhaustion, which is disadvantage. Weird. Sorry. Right. I, I roll the 3d6? Yep. Same Sorry. for you, Arena. Mm-hmm. There you go. So that's how much damage you guys take. Because if you guys, you leap, you miss, you fall, you bounce off the thing, you fall into a lower level. Roll out of the drop. Yeah. <laughs> Roll out! Good. Ow! Two. I'm good. No scars. We're, we're all right. All right. And now I need a wisdom perception check from each of you to spot right, <laughs> rotted <laughs> planking that won't support weight. Actually, I'm really fucking good. Guys, we're screwed. This is not going to no. go well, Jake. Be careful! <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a two. I want that to be clear. Right. I rolled a two. Theo and Irina, you have a choice to make. Mm. Oh, good, good. 3d6 bludgeoning damage from a fall. Or. Or a level of exhaustion, which gives nope. you a uh, disadvantage moving forward. How long does it last? Uh, I think it's until you long rest. Stupid. Oh, I'll, that... I'll take the I'll take the three D system. If the exhaustion nice. st stacks, what does that do? You can only get rid of one level of exhaustion per long rest. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm not taking that. Out. <laughs> cool. You guys fall through some rotting boards, uh, take some damage, climb your way back out. It's no bueno. I told you to watch out. <laughs> not good at watching. Uh, watching is hard. The climb takes uh about an hour uh plus you 10 the raven back in that time uh quaros sent the raven up uh and he said all right yeah we're, we're invited up great all right i was really afraid that we'd get the raven back and be like oh yeah i'm downstairs by the lobby and you're like <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any like ramps that are like easily accessible this place isn't up to code not up to code. This is not ADA friendly. <laughs> You're right back. So, uh, it takes about an hour plus 10 minutes for each failed check, so it took you guys about an hour and a half. Uh, 
and you have made it up to Kir Sabal. Uh, show you guys a little bit of map here. Right in the middle. Oh, cool. So, like, you guys like, are down. Cool. Where am I trying to point? You guys are down at the bottom here. Oh. And you can make your way up. Is it like a sideways view of the cliff? Yes, that was a side view of the cliff. Sweet. Awesome. All right. Uh, and waiting for you at right at the entrance to Kirsa Ball, right, right when the path leads up to start being some buildings, is an old friend. Oh, we just got to Cloud City. It's Salik. Oh. How are you, you old pirate? Yeah. It's friends! <laughs> and he reaches out and he, and he gives you guys all hugs. Yay. Uh, I'm gonna say, like, so good to see you. I, I want to ask him kind of quiet, but not that quiet, because it's Theo. Like, how have you been blending? Oh, uh, wonderfully. Uh, this is, oh. this place is perfect. It's, right. it reminds me of home. Oh, that's good. Uh, it has people that need my protection. Oh. Uh, I, I feel needed and wanted. It's, it's been a fantastic few weeks. And that's I have you... this mix of memories from the other me? Yes. Everything has been going fantastically. Is the other you cool? Very much like me. Oh, that's great. Different history, uh, but... Speaking of people who need your protection... I'm also sick. A few of us are. <laughs> yeah, and, and so are they. Uh, this have you heard of this death curse thing? Uh, he says, yes. Uh, I myself have been inflicted. You sick too? No. Because in case you guys don't remember, back in season one, oh, yeah. Salik died. Yeah, and then he got resurrected Ooh. by that scary Medusa guy, and yep. he got wings again, and we were like, whoa. Cool. That is true. Happen. And he says, uh, the monks have been researching a cure and hoping to find someone for, uh, ah, oh, I should have looked up this name earlier. Sophia's mom. Mrs. Sophia's mom. Mrs. Sophia's mom. Uh, <laughs> Mrs. Sophia's mom. Is Sophia home? You can use the, uh... Nope, nope, nope. She has a name. It's written Sandsania down. Syndra. Oh, okay. Syndra. Syndrin. Syndrone. Your nemesis. <laughs> Syndra. What's her actual name? Syndra. S Y N D R A. Whatever. Um. I'll. I guess. I don't know if I would tell him or if uh, Imrul would tell him to be like. Since they're working on a cure and there isn't one right now, in the meantime, we were here on behalf of Sophia and like. I'll gesture. I don't know if he would say this or I would say this. But yeah. If he doesn't, I would. Yeah, you're fine. We're planning to petrify her temporarily to stave off the effects of the death curse. Interesting. We don't really have a better plan right now. And Seems, seems yeah. as good a plan as any. Yeah. But we but... do have a path to a cure. Really? Yes. One of y'all can explain. Yeah. Come, come with me. I'll, I'll take you up to Syndra's uh, abode, and we can, you can tell me more there, or along the way. Okay. And he starts leading you guys up. Do you see anything really cool on the way? I yeah. haven't seen many bird I mean, people. Oh yeah, there's tons of bird people. Um, they're like, all over. Open. Are they doing like aerial acrobatics? Like there are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there are uh, more than 50 Aarakocra who live here. Um, so, and you guys are right now in the, the, the dwellings. You're right by all the houses. This is the neighborhood. What's, what's the flight etiquette? Uh, they just jump off whenever? No, 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 no. Like, we're, like, walking on a path because mm -hmm. we're, like, sad people with no wings. Do mm -hmm. they just, like, swoop in and are like, oh, sorry. No, they seem to... You're like, on my landing pad. They, they land wherever, so they'll land, you know, not near you, not in your way. Okay. Um, so and the paths are actually much wider here, because these entire buildings are on these paths. So there's alleyways and... Okay, cool. 
What is the plural of air croaker? Is it a gaggle or a flock or a murder or a flock? Okay. Uh, I'd say a flock of air croaker. A pod. Uh, well, no. So a a family unit a is a nest. A nest of aracocra. Oh. That I know because it says it in the book. Oh. <laughs> Don't look at the book. Don't look at the book. Um, okay. Sophia, are you excited to see your mom? It's been some time. <laughs> when did she leave? I'm worried to see her sick. She's always been a strong woman. We'll work it out. She'll be okay. She'll get petrified, and then she'll be shoulder fine. pat. Um, so, uh, and Salik asks, so, so what is this cure you have your sights on? Some rare herb, a magic spell. Oh, is there is Nicole frozen for y'all? Yes, she needs to refresh. Oh, okay. Nicole, you need to refresh. I don't know if she hears, but I was gonna have her explain, so it's kind of funny. Oh, I'm the bridge between worlds. Um, Technical well, issues, hooray! Yeah. I can have uh, Aridan explain to you. Oh, Nicole. There we go. I don't Okay, cool. Uh, so Alex doesn't left. really remember the plan. We have to kill the soulmonger, that's basically it. That's it, okay, yeah. But I was gonna say, Irina, if you want to explain the cure plan. Salik have, asked, what's this, what's, this, what's this plan to a cure you have? Is it some rare herb, a secret spell? Not quite. Um, when we first arrived, uh, I met Sophia and she um, uh, uh, detailed that um, the disease, I guess you would call it, seems to be caused by uh, the soul monger. Um, so we're hoping if we can um, destroy it, um, mm. it shall end the curse. A soul really, monger. We've got a lot riding on destroying it. We really do. It's a problem if we can. <laughs> All right. We know that the soulmonger exists. We have it on very good authority. Actually, the highest authority. Yes. Too high authority. Uh, the highest. <laughs> All right. Uh, Salik was actually there and met the gods. <laughs> I don't mean to be a prop, but I happen to be a I just really want to... I guess I didn't realize that the death curse <laughs> and the soulmonger that the gods spoke to us of were related. Yes, we. that's what we guessed when we came here and heard about the death curse. Interesting. And you believe you can destroy it and you know where to find it? We, uh, we, we, we know it's in the jungle. We've just uh, kind of been marching into the forest, to the jungle, and you know, seeing what, what we find. We have an amazing guide. We're on a really good track of destroying stuff, though, so as long as it gets in our way... We can do it. Yeah, we've got it. I mean, but we have to destroy it, so, you know. Location. We are seeking the wisdom of the Oracle at Orlunga. Ah, yes. Oh, is this something you know about? Please tell me it's a for real Oracle. It's a for real Oracle. Okay. Oh. Theo is concerned and does not have faith. My doubt is um, Teacher may be able to help you. That would be teacher. Teacher. great. Teacher, teacher is the uh, leader of our monastery. Oh. Ah. Her, her name is Ashara, but she goes by teacher. Uh, she may have some some gifts or some magic, some ritual she can perform that may aid you in this task. You should okay. meet with her. Cool. Well, maybe that's where we should head them. We're, we're heading to see. Right. Sir. Sorry. After we see Sophia's mom, uh, mm -hmm. we will seek an audience with teacher. And Perfect. He says, Here we are, and he he you know parts a curtain into this um, place, and the the light is low in this dwelling. It's a stone dwelling carved into the cliff, um, and there's a bed in there, and uh, you see a frail old woman lying in the bed. And Sophia, you want to go first? Yeah. Sophia goes in and says, "More Mother. emotional support, standby." And uh, Singer goes, "Sophia." And she says, I, I came as soon as I heard, and you know, they, they have an emotional moment. I don't want to narrate it at all, but... <laughs> I feel very emotional. Academy Award nominated. Yeah. <laughs> A really fantastic performance that you can just imagine in your head that I'm doing. Yeah. 
Wow. It's Beautiful. It's like 10 times sadder than uh, the notebook. And Sophia then <laughs> says to Syndra, uh, I have met some friends and they believe that they have... They believe they know how to cure this death curse, but uh, they're not sure they can do it in time. And so, in time for you. And so in order to delay it, uh, our friend here, and, and she turns to Emeril, and Emeril steps forward, mm -hmm has offered to preserve preserve you. I'm sure Emerald will step in and say that. Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you in a holding pattern. And You're a Sindra bird. Says, you like holding patterns. You're not a bird. You live with the birds. <laughs> uh, Syndra turns to Emerald and says, you know, hmm, by what mechanism? Uh, and Emerald says, uh, just straight, straight faced petrification. <laughs> Turn uh, to stop. And you see her. She's not shocked. She she seems and she considers it and she says that might work. Okay. Are you willing to try? She says, uh, yes. If it will, if you do believe that you really have a way to cure this, when Scouts all is said it. and done. Smith, then, believe it. We believe it with all our hearts. Then I'm willing to take that risk because the alternative is death. Okay. Um, and now I, I have another touching moment. <laughs> look up the spell. It's like a lifetime movie up in here. Yeah, really. Can you, like, extend this offer to anybody else in town that might be suffering? Uh, it's just Syndra wow, and Salik, and Salik is not told anyone. Got it. Uh, let's see. Spells. Flesh to stone. There you go. Woo. Requires okay. Aslan breathing on you to fix. <laughs> All right. You attempt to turn one creature that you can see into stone. Make a con save. Does it only last for a minute, though? Uh, no, if you maintain your concentration for the full duration, then the creature is turned to stone until the effect is removed. So if you concentrate for the whole time, they stay that way at the end. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then you have to use, like, a remove curse to remove it later. Okay. And Sophia's like, like, are you sure you want to do this now, Mother? We only just got here, and, and I miss you. And uh, Sindra says, there's no knowing when this death curse will take me. The sooner the better. Damn, she must be down to, like, single-digit hit points. She has lost more hit points than you guys have. Wow. And she probably didn't have as many to begin with. <laughs> about that oh who is this chick <laughs> you'll find out just be terrifying <laughs> when she's powerful that's who um don't get on her bad side <laughs> and she says and, and so emerald reaches out like he's ready and then she says one second and she turns and she looks at you irina no and she says you look very familiar have we met i i do, uh, not that, that I'm aware of. I um, uh, recently found out that I am from this plane. Um, maybe you knew me back when I was a child. If so, uh, do you, could you think of where you um, met me? Her eyes widen when you say that. And she says, who were you taken by? Uh, I believe um, a vampire... Um, the Vistani. Named... Oh, yes, Vistani. Then... <laughs> she she says, like, you're starting to say that, and she says, the Vistani? Yes, yeah, yes. You know them. Uh, and she, she uh, looks at you and says, Irina? <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Um, Who it is? And she, um, she starts to amazed. cry. God, it's like the notebook, but 20 Wait. times sadder. Dude, like way a chance. And Sophia's like, How do you know me? What, what is it, mother? How do you how do you know her? And uh, Sindra says, uh, She is your sister. <gasps> call it, call it, call it. So that lie at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 
Foreshadowing. Irony. Ooh. I am a master of literary techniques. Oh, cool. I have it. And my sister. I'm just going to like look at uh, <laughs> Sophia and look back at um, her and say, uh, just, She says, when you had been well, it is... taken from us, I thought that you'd never return. I thought you were trapped, gone forever. I spent years studying, searching, finding a way to bring you back. I, I believed I was trapped, too. Uh, I only recently learned that I was not from Barovia. This is incredible. Uh, then you have defeated you... Strahd. Yes. Yes. He is. He's gone. I, I want to chime in and be like, yeah, we, we defeated Strahd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my friend here. My um, friend here. Uh... And she turns to the two of you, uh, Eldritch Brothers, and she oh, yeah. says, I... Thank you from the bottom of my heart for freeing my daughter and returning her to me. You're welcome. I, your daughter can handle herself. I'm vital in destroying Strahd. I'm so overwhelmed that I'm just like, it was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it totally was. But I'm like so overwhelmed by this reveal. I'm like, ah. we didn't uh, all die. We were fine. passing through Ravenloft anyway. And just <laughs> like a pit stop is not a big deal. Turns back to you, Irina, and she says, Promise me that you will destroy this soulmonger, that you will heal, cure this curse, so that we can get to know each other once more. <laughs> Shit! Oh! <laughs> no, my broadcast turned to stone on the coal! Emerald, <laughs> how could you? Oh, the dramatic timing. The drama. Hi, baby. <laughs> what did he say? I really feel like Emerald just kicked off the spell and didn't realize he was supposed to wait, and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, my body. Oh, oh, I hear you. I hear a voice. A voice in the distance. Nicole? <laughs> nope. This is an amazing session. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was movement. Oh, okay. Hey. All right. Did okay, you hear so the your question? Mom was basically, like your new mom. No, like, oh, I didn't. Defeat the thing. She said, "Promise me you'll defeat the thing so that we can get to know each other once more." Oh, okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll lean down and uh, take her hand, and I'm confused, but that's fine. <laughs> and well, take her hand and be like. Uh, Yes, I, I will. I, I have staked a great deal on being able to defeat the Soulmonger. I will be back, and I will get to know you, Mother. Um, and so with one of you daughters on each side holding her hands, she then nods at Emeril, and Emeril places his hand over her. And she st slowly turns to stone, and you feel her... her you know, and and Warm and one tear glistens on a stone, stone. cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have a mom. <laughs> You're not an orphan. <laughs> Woo! It's like that scene from the Pokemon movie. <laughs> it makes me miss my parents again. Uh, but I don't recognize that, and I just say to to uh, my brother, I'm just like, oh, I really want stew right now. <laughs> Sophia <laughs> stands up and <clears throat> clears her eyes and. Looks up at you, Irina, and says, so, I guess we're sisters. <laughs> I'm gonna look at her and be like, I, I guess we are. We have a lot to talk about. I want to know well, about, about your family and your father and more about your mother and you. Yeah, we'll, I, let's talk. <laughs> so when we all got put into our I'm gonna say I never had a sister and hug her. <laughs> but yeah, you were saying you got put in your body. When we all got put in our bodies and Arena didn't have a body, she got put near her sister. It was like, that was like on purpose. Yeah. It's oh. almost as if Sovereign can see the future. It's like he knew. Does Bro, Sovereign... did you know that Sovereign knows stuff? Sovereign knows everything. That's what I've been telling you guys. Is Sovereign going to teach them the hand jive routine to do? And then like, hit bump? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, right? From Parent Trap? 
I don't know the scene from Parent Drive, I just know the hand drive. Okay, the girl and the butler have this routine, and so she has to teach it to the twin, so that when they switch places, yeah, the but butler both, won't know. They're both Lindsay Lohan, right? Yeah, they're both Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, they're both Lindsay Lohan. Best, best performance she ever gave, TBH. <laughs> Accurate. That was her peak at 11. Sorry. <laughs> Brief Parent Trap joke. <laughs> but anyway, they're gonna learn that routine. It's gonna be flawless. But yeah. I'll, I'll hug her and um, say I've never had a sister, and you know, I'm very excited. It's beautiful. <laughs> Sibling um, love. She's probably just bringing it out. Says, uh, uh, so, someone uh, lands outside uh, the thing and leans in and talks to Salik for a minute, and Salik says, uh, Teacher is ready to see you now. Ooh. Cool. Um, and then he Let's leads you guys up. Is Drazan here? Drazan is here. Okay. That's Inete is here. Echo is here. That guy okay. from last week who I gave a name but don't remember. Is the Hadrosaur here? The Hadrosaur is waiting for oh! Bobby! Bobby! <laughs> you missed a, a very a big reveal. It was yes. a very big reveal? Uh -huh. Oh, Bobby? Yeah, oh, we found yeah, that It mom. was not just a reveal. It was a whole Lifetime movie. It, is it was a Lifetime movie. Yeah. It was very emotional. We got told it was ten times sadder than the notebook. Okay. Yeah. Dex is a one T. That's what we're talking about, right? Like I was wet all along? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. Um, he came back and he was like, surprise, motherfucker. Mom, <laughs> 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 please help me. Can we do resurrection on that bitch, please? <laughs> oh, uh, man. Sophia... And Delina are sisters. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Sophia's mother, who we just went and saw and turned to stone uh, to protect her from the death curse. Who wrote that plan? Okay. Yeah. Uh, she agreed to it almost immediately. She was like, yeah, that's reasonable. But then right before Seriously. Emerald cast it, she looked at Arena and said, do we, have we met? And then she put two and two together. Oh my oh, god, cute dog. Yeah. Oh, Maddox. The pupper. Oh, it's so cute. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> Maddox, who's got a dog? Okay. All right. Later, Sorry. though. Sorry. <laughs> Breaking news. All right. And with that, uh, Salik is also here. Hi, Salik. Um, and Salik, Salik gonna is going to take you guys I'm up to see teacher. Yeah, Salik's happy. doing great here. He said he loves it. The monastery reminds him of home. And there are people here who need his protection. He feels needed and wanted and useful. Um, he's doing he's great. Happy. He's we told him how we're all dying of the death curse. And then he was like, LOL, me too. Uh, but don't tell anybody, because he's keeping it a secret. Oh, I missed that. You guys get for dying and coming back. <laughs> right? Uh, and then oh, he wait, said, uh, the leader of the monastery, teacher, could probably help you guys right. um, in uh, your quest to destroy the soulmonger, and that you guys should go up and see her, and that's where you're headed now. I really hope it's like the audience with Gladriel and we get sweet shit. So he leads you guys up. Smart, um, smart. Tell me, where is Dex? This <laughs> building um, that is uh, clearly a like holy building, um, and uh, a holy building. Yeah, it's like part Whoa. of the monastery. It's like a yeah to let the wind flow through. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> um, and he leads you in, and the first floor uh, is a washroom. Um, there's a wash basin, um, smaller vessels of salt and powdered chalk and gold dust. Uh, and various things, and he says, uh, we don't need to perform the full ritual, but you need to cleanse your hands and feet. Uh, I'm gonna ask him what the full ritual is. Uh, it takes some time and involves feathers and wings, which you lack. Is the gist of it just being really clean? <laughs> it's molting. Uh, yes. There's also the salt and the chalk have things to do with it, but if you want an abbreviated version, I can throw some chalk on your forehead. That would be great. Sure. I think it's very important to stick to your tradition when asking Absolutely. for papers from powerful people. I, I will settle for just not to speak. the hands and feet. No chalk is required for me. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and uh, he... Are there, like, basins of holy water and shit? Yep. I, I just... I don't wait for instructions. I just want to go, like, splash some on my face. You get some funny looks from some other Aarakocra, but they appear to mostly be just be like, like... One comes over and politely says, The wash basin is for your hands and feet. 
you flightless idiot. I just want to be really clean <laughs> for the chalk that's going to go on my forehead. <laughs> and he says, ah, I, I see. Uh, this will be fine. And he <laughs> <laughs> Does he, like, dump out that basin, like, out the window when I'm, like, not looking? No, but you can see he's watching to see when you're done so that he can. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> um, Salik d- starts doing, like, he's, like, preening and molting and all that kind of stuff. Oh, so he's got to prepare himself to go up. That's cool. Um, That's and awesome. He also says you guys have to you have to like take your boots off and leave them here. That's cool. Barefoot is the way to okay. go. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. Cool. And so after a little time, uh, from there, there's a ladder and a just a hole in the ceiling that the Arco could usually just fly up. Um, that leads up to a small shrine. Um, there is a uh, life-size wooden statue of a noble uh, tabaxi, which is a cat person, draped in flowers and beans, uh, beads and wreathed in incense smoke. I'm kind of surprised Ooh. the birds are okay with cats. <laughs> All things Good point. And uh, as they get up there... Maybe the god of death. Uh, oh yeah, maybe the cat's the god of death. Oh, sorry, no, that's in a different room. Uh, sorry, I read the wrong paragraph. Sorry, no, there's a wooden case with shelves of candles and headscarves. Um, and uh, he hands each of you uh, a headscarf. They're for visitors. And he says, just, you know, okay. wrap it around. Cool. Sure. I'll do that. Uh, did you tie yours like a bandana? <laughs> Me? No, Aridin. Yeah, I'm tying it like Naruto style. So, the, actually, oh, the statue nice. in here... Um, it's very worn and old, and it's been, like, rubbed smooth by tons of people touching it. So you can't Oops. actually tell what it was originally trying to portray. It's a five-foot-tall wooden statue. Um, you see there are various offerings around the base, and, uh, yes, like, like, what it is, and he says, I have no idea. You asked It's been forgotten. Me? It's been forgotten. No one knows. Oh. It's a holy sigil. Uh, right. And he says, just rub it before you exit the shrine. Okay. And just like, you know, rubbing Buddha's belly, kind of like, you just go rub it real quick. Um, and so with all of that out of the way, uh, he then leads you up some steep steps to the main monastery. Uh okay. Second. Uh, and then he leads you, uh, you go into the monastery, it enters into a uh, uh, refectory. It's an entrance hall and a dining chamber. Um, you can see a few Aarakocra taking their meals there. Um, and uh, he leads you just through that room and through a door into the large main hall of the monastery. It's a prayer hall. You can see there's a large um, carving of a maze in the floor. And then there are stairs that lead up to an upper level. Um, and he's going to lead you guys up those stairs in this big, large room. Uh, and then once you're up those stairs, uh, they go around. He takes you through another door. Uh, we asked him if this place used to belong to Uptau. Uh, and he says, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and he says, the, the rituals and faith practice here is no longer of Uptau. But right, I just saw the name. It was once. saw that somewhere else. Um, he leads you through uh, a training hall. So you see there are Arakokra, like, practicing martial arts in there and, like, hitting each other with sticks and stuff. Cool. Um, this is my apologies. Normally, we don't have to walk through all of this to get to the elder's house, but you don't have wings. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Well, yeah, Bobby and Nick, we had to do a ton of saves to get up here. Yeah, you probably took 3d6 damage, so why don't you just go ahead and roll that? Will do. <laughs> <laughs> Friendly reminder. Uh, he leads you up past um, a building that looks like some of the other dwellings from below, um, but just slightly in better shape and cleaner. He leads you past that one and up to a large, um, the, the highest building 
in here. So like, so I guess I can show you guys on here. So that was the place where you, the little shrine where you washed up. That's the mm -hmm. main monastery. That's yeah. the building you're walking past up to the tallest, highest building. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. That's good. Uh, where he then knocks on the door. Is it a secret knock or just a normal knock? Definitely secret. <laughs> Memorize it. Like his day. talon? <laughs> it's one scrape and two knocks. Um, and uh, he, the door opens and you see an elderly Aarakocra woman standing there. Um, and she says, ah, the visitors, please come in. Um, and they all, you all file in. Um, and you see that Salik is standing outside. He's not coming in. Oh. Are you not entering, Salik? Uh, and he says, uh, we are not permitted to enter teacher's, uh, teacher's home. It is for herself uh, and guests. Oh. Okay. I will, I will wait out here for you. Okay, we'll, we'll catch you up later then. We'll, we'll be back. Probably. Um, and he shuts the door behind you guys. Dun dun dun! <laughs> um, and that was the last time. We I'm also going to take this moment to say that Echo, Inete, Drazan, uh, the guest dude, uh, are all for a row. downstairs. They didn't come up here. <laughs> it's our entire cavalcade of hangers on. Yeah. Good, good word, cavalcade. Uh, so who was actually here then? Uh, all y'all. Uh, oh. Chronicle. <laughs> uh, yeah. Emerald and Pharaoh. The, 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 the classic Not Sophia six. either? Um, oh, and Sophia. But, like, Roe and Flora are down. Basically, they're all not there for the Soulmonger killing, so they're not coming with you. Oh. Lazy. Uh, we probably went just on to get started on dinner anyway. Yeah. You only get partial credit. Yeah. That's important. They're getting all set up. The Salik had the other Aarakocra who came to visit him is setting you guys up with uh, somewhere to sleep for the night. Somebody told Razan not to make any chicken or turkey while we were here, right? Okay. Pharaoh goes, oh, I forgot to say that. <laughs> Did you think he was carrying it around? Not either. He's going to cook whatever's in their kitchen. We did catch some fish, remember? I'm sure fish is fine. All right. Fish are friends. Not food. Not food. I think here they might be food. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> oh, Bobby, you missed it. There's this part. I don't think we actually walked by it, but there was a thing of a statue of a cat, and we were like, why is that here? And we were like, it's their god of death. But it's not. No, I, I was know. just here. He was that here. was two and a half minutes ago. I was here for that. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, it was great. <laughs> and in case you <laughs> forgot, I'm reminding you. Right. Bobby, one time we got to teacher's house, and we were like, Sleek can't come in. <laughs> so the, this, is, this is the room where there is a, a statue, life-size statue of a cat person in the middle. No. And she says, please join me and sit. And she just plops on the floor. And just as you guys. Interesting sort of statue. Form a circle. You, I, I plop. You like cats? Same. Cat people? Is that a special cat person? It is a holy symbol. Uh, and if you'd like to try and recognize it, I will take a DC 15 intelligence religion check. Can I yeah. try to? Can I try to? Yeah, can we all try? I can definitely do that. Look how much religion I know. That's I know out. most religion. Watch out. I know Uptow. Religion. And Speaking I know my god. Uptow. <laughs> Theo and Irina, uh, you guys recognize this from when you were in the temple of Uptow, in some of the carvings and paintings there, uh, that this is uh, a form where sometimes Uptow is, is depicted as a tabaxi, cat person. We, we say that. We share that with the group. Cool. She says, it's Uptow, and she says, oh, do you think? And she looks, and then shrugs. Uh, <clears throat> uh, and she says, so I hear that you have a plan to cure the death curse. Yes. More like mission, though. Like a working theory. Uh... 
I, I want to gesture to Rena and be like, you should fill her in on um, the deal with, not the whole deal, not like the deal, but like what we got told by um, Mother Night and <laughs> Father. I'm going to save us some time <laughs> and just say What's that on? you guys fill in the details. The Morning, Morning Lord, Lord and Mother, Mother Night. Night. There you go, Morning Lord. I was like, Father, Son? I I don't know. Yeah, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. That <laughs> dude, okay. the Catholic, okay? It just comes back when I least expect it. Father, Son, comma, the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Uh, and she says, interesting. And you believe that the Oracle at Orlunga will be able to tell you the location of this soulmonger? Yes. I mean, it's the only lead we really have right now. <laughs> so we're just kind of going with it? Yes, we have faith. <laughs> Fingers super crossed. He says, uh, there is a ritual that I can perform to assist you in your travels. Travel through the jungle, especially to somewhere so far as Orlunga, will take much time. Agreed. And uh, in your current state, and she gestures towards uh, probably Theo, and you see that uh, you didn't have noticed this before, Theo, but like some of the skin on your arm is starting to flake off and Dude, get gross. Why do you have to tell me I'm so disgusting? You're turning into a reptile. Aloe vera. <laughs> uh, she's in your current state, uh, and she points. You don't have as much time as you would like to find the soulmonger. I can perform. Are they going to give us a time turner or wings? A ritual known as the Dance of the Seven Winds. Ooh. Does it super fast get us there? Which can permit you to fly. <gasps> no! I believe I can fly. fly. Which should help you to get to Oralunga more quickly. And to get Finally. to wherever the Soulmonger is located. Gravity I can't kill gravity. us, guys! We're immortal! <laughs> we defeated it! <laughs> I want Gravity to can be... definitely still kill us and almost certainly will. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Don't, don't. <laughs> I, I will say, like, this is a great honor. Yes. Theo, you always wanted to be a bird person. I know, I'm literally like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, dude, one step closer to being a raven person. Check it out, bitch. Now you just need to put on a costume. Yeah, I can just add wings. Cool. I mean, Tarn, nothing stop them from doing that. Um, she says, however, there is an ingredient that I need to perform this ritual. Yeah. It's always a catch. It is a black orchid. A, a black orchid? All right, I'm going to duck down to the black orchid store. We'll see you guys in about 20 minutes. Um, um, Echo I'm is assuming... with you guys, too. Sorry, it's the six of you, Sophia and Echo. Are they found in the jungle? Do you have a hothouse that happens to have some black orchids? She says, no, the there is volcano. one place where the black orchid grows. And Echo mm -hmm. says, I know this place. Is it a terrible place? Nangalore. Great, that a wonderful awesome. place with free food. Is it easy to get to? A supply chain issue here, like a single point of failure. This is diversify where you can get your ritual components from. I agree with this statement. Uh, she says, uh, my people are not permitted to go to Nangalore because of the evil Eblis known to live there. Eblis. Eblis. They're Intelligent evil cranes. Yeah, they're, oh. they're um, cockney people who have been beheaded. <laughs> Wait, cranes? Yeah, like a crane. Yeah, Eblis. Like, get it? Like, you were close, but I think it was oh, Eblis, Ed, no, no. wasn't it? Edless. Oh, I get it. It's not quite where nearly headless neck lives. <laughs> uh, she says, but if you can go to this place and retrieve a black orchid, I can perform the ritual. And Eku says, I have been to Nangalore. I could take, I could take you there. Um, I'm How gonna ask her, be like, no, I'll, I'll ask her after. I'll ask her when we're leaving. Never mind, never mind. I'll ask her how far it is. Yeah. And if there are any other dangers along the way. It is. And Eku would know too. That's the wrong message. Yeah. Eku says. I don't know if you meant her as in teacher or her nope. as in Eku. Yeah, yeah, my bad. All good. It is. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Thank Lord, here's the ball. It's a few days. Doable. All right. A few days there and a few days back. And any time we lose, uh, especially if we're not able to retrieve the Black Orchid, 
will mean less time to make it to Oralunga. Uh. Okay. Chorus, could you not send your bird on a couple days mission? <laughs> um. Grab an orchid. I feel like I can carry an orchid. Like, there might be a little more going on here than just like bird fly in, grab orchid, come back. I worked for Lord of the Rings. If Eku, tell me if I'm wrong. Like, if the bird can handle this, cool. I can get a massage for three days or something. <laughs> That's great. I don't know, yeah, I don't you know what you like I'm not gonna lie. doing spas. I just feel like the bird is our get out of jail free. He says, uh, I have not seen the black orchid in Angelo before, but I have not gone very deep into those hanging gardens. I am <clears> going to. I'll just ask now. <clears throat> it seems like. This is the thing you might need again. It would be better for you if we got like a couple. That would be excellent, but it is but not you a very transplant a few. common ritual. All right. Well, if I can get a couple, it's sure. not very often that we find flightless assholes, idiots that are willing to go there, wingless folk <laughs> with a quest <laughs> worthy of the ritual. I like mine better. Um, I am gonna say, do you have like a, I don't know what this would be called, because Theo's not educated, like, somebody in charge of plant stuff here, or farm stuff? An apothecary? Professor of Herbology? Sure. Yeah, basically Professor of Herbology is what I really want, but Theo wouldn't know that. Like, because basically what I'm trying to say is, I don't know a lot about, about herbs and growing things, but if I could talk to somebody who does, I could have them give me instructions on how to get a cutting. Some of the monks do study plants here. Right. One has been studying some peas. Yeah. And how to reproduce. <laughs> His name is Mendel. He's making squares. <laughs> weird. I will speak with Mendel before leaving. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to derail this whole longer quest, just invent modern genetics instead. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Genetic cure for the death curse. It's a worthwhile effort. Yeah. Society might not be ready for it here in the jungles of buttfuck nowhere. Hey man, don't say that so Don't say that to the freaking birds. They're great. And She says that's... That's our mission now. All right, cool. That's what I can do for you. It's your choice, right. of course, whether to risk the journey to Nangalore, but... That sounds fine. It's just a garden. So there's not, like, some other, like, dark gray orchid that we might get that'll actually, like, turn us into, like, fish? Or birds. She chuckles as she stands, uh, sort of inviting the rest of you to stand as well. Oh, that's our cue to leave. Okay. okay. Um, and as she opens the door, you see Salik is standing there. Uh, and she just she gets to leave and Salik is like, how'd it go? Good. Uh, we're going to go pick some flowers. Yep. For That's our world saving quest now. A ritual? Do you, do you know That's the, the one. For a ritual. Um, we kind of neglected to ask what might be in Nengalo that will try to kill us, I feel like. Right. Yeah. I no, I... will know that. Eku might know that. Yeah, we should ask Eku now that we've failed to ask Mother Superior back there. Yeah, I think Eku's that's... like, I'm right here. No, I know, sorry, part of that was out of character. <laughs> What's going to kill us in Mengalore? Uh There are some plants that have uh, grown limbs and uh, oh. Oh. mouths. Oh, always weird shit. So We're good at chopping off limbs. Yeah, That's not about a problem. But they're, they're pretty easy to avoid. Tentacles, okay. ickers, eyeballs. Oh my. I, I, listen, I literally listen to a podcast no, on No, think more like, like giant Venus flytraps. I have a spell for that. Okay. Uh, and she says, but they're, they're avoidable. I've gone there to pick flowers before. What flowers are so valuable other than this one that it is worth dealing giant? There are flowers. rare and beautiful flowers from all over Azamar in oh. the hanging gardens of Nangalore. Thank you well, for the Dutch now I'm very excited to see it. They were built food. a long time ago uh, by a, a queen of Isari. And they're very... Although overgrown and slightly ruinous, still very beautiful. Well, considering I don't think I've ever really seen many flowers because my land didn't have sun, I'm super down to go on a flower quest. Uh, I'm going to ask 
If it was made so long ago, is there anybody who tends the garden now? Not that I know of. Well, I hope if there is, we don't run into them. We can just, like, barter for their flowers if we do. Yeah. Or we can kill them and take their stuff. Like, I'm, I'm easy. I'm against the just killing people we run into plan. I feel like it kind of literally blew up in our face. It did, it did. We did blow up a quarter of a city. Let's try with the bargaining first. This is how GMs teach you not to be murder hobos. <laughs> <laughs> we were in a bad mood. Okay. I would also like, out of character, to complain that if Ben were here, he would have laughed at my Dutch tulip stroke. And no oh, one else wait, I didn't hear you say that. Oh, I didn't hear you. Oh, okay. Sorry, I said that Eku knows a bunch of Dutch traders. He just goes to Yeah, the Holland oh. cream for tulips. Wow, Bobby just Wild assumed time. that Ben's the only one who knows the history of fucking Dutch tulips. No, but Ben always laughs at my stupid jokes. Basically, it was like what happened with the banks, except hella days ago and about flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that all the, like, tulips that have the weird, like, stripes of different colors are actually it's just a- Yeah, that's a disease. Uh-huh. So, I bet Mendel knows that. Sleek starts taking you guys back down towards the monastery. We'll see Mendel. Uh, and right then, uh, a uh, woman steps out of that abode that was between this place and the monastery. And I'm going to show you a picture of her if I can find it. A non winged woman? Or a, winged a human woman. Oh. In fact, an Isari woman. No. Thank you. Uh, in this, like, you know, let me not lose that page. Ugh. In this like baller feather cloak. Oh, oh, she's nah. oh, oh, I'm in feather cloak too. Do we have like a connection? <laughs> <laughs> You're not wearing your style. feather cloak, is aren't you? Because it's hot. In the oh jungle? wait, wait, I have that thing. Did I leave it in the chest? No, I think you have the feather cloak. No, you're probably wearing the feather cloak. You have to have your feather cloak. Did I leave it at Wakanda's? Did I leave it at Wakanda's house? No, you didn't. You have your feather cloak. You wouldn't right. leave it. You're just not wearing it, right? Ah, you could be wearing it. It's fine. Okay. I think I would be. Trying to make an impression on these people. You would never sacrifice style, guys. Right, but do they want to see that you're wearing feathers? Like, bird it people. It from an evil guy, from a hippogriff. So okay. Fine. Yeah. They were, I mean, and they were gathered off the ground. turns up and looks at you guys and says, Who are you? Who Same are you? Thing. Who are you? <laughs> and she says, I, I don't have to answer your questions. Well, neither do we. Great. We have to answer our own questions. <laughs> I'm Irina. Bye. Let's, uh, let's, let's. I'm the rightful ruler of Isari. You'll answer my questions. You're the what? Really? <laughs> uh, and she then looks at you, Aridan, and she says, uh, I'm going to fuck up her name when I try and say this. Princess Moxanare. Oh. That's not that hard to say. And she holds out her hand for you to kiss it. <laughs> Steady shake. Waxanare, <laughs> <laughs> you say? Waxanare. Yes. Probably. Mm. The current uh. ruler of Isari. Or sorry, the rightful ruler of Isari. Mm -hmm. Not current. Right. Who, who is the current de facto ruler of Isari? We're, we're the new. Council. The council. The yeah, this, Azamaran the... protectorate has been occupying Isari for some time, but it's only a matter of time before the people call out for their true ruler. And what the makes merchant you princes rightful? the merchant princes will lend me their support. And we will That's return really how that goes. I think we will return to Omu to what it once was. Uh, wow, what do I wanna be Targaryen? <laughs> <laughs> you just but when I read her description I'm like, Oh yep, Targaryen like <laughs> <laughs> Uh so er Aridan asked what made her the rightful ruler. I don't remember if that was Aaron. Yeah, what makes you rightful? Yeah, it was Aaron. My bloodline is that of the kings and queens of Isari for generations. How long has yeah, the... the first one of those probably just took it from another bloodline, so they're more rightful than you, right? Is that how it's chose our bloodline to rule. Oh, I am Men's now... women handing out swords in a lake is no system from base of the government. <laughs> Maybe drag these people out of the Middle Ages later. <laughs> I it's met Uthau. It's a process that takes more than an afternoon. <laughs> How long, how long has the Protectorate been in charge? Many years they encroached upon our lands. And it was only during my great-grandmother's rule? Grandmother's rule? Sorry. Some mother's rule. Great-grandmother's rule. That Omu was taken from us. Omu? Our capital city. Hmm. 
Oh. Where is that? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, I would, actually, yeah. (laughs) I'm I'm not from here. I'm new. We wish you all the best of luck. (laughs) Storing your kingdom. Um, Out of character, this bitch is not on my boat. She is the (laughs) rudest person and does not understand campaigns. One day they'll realize I should be in charge. I mean, she's like 17, so. Oh. She's clearly Even more hate. Yeah. Oh, we found out new critical data. Okay. Yes, what? After I said out of character, she does not have my book, first of all. First of all. <laughs> Second of all, we found out she's like 17. Oh. So I was so like, no, definitely doesn't have my book either. So definitely Daenerys Targaryen. Yep. Yeah. She's a bird version. Well, she's not a bird. <laughs> right, but she has a feather cloak, so hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jake, her cat is so perfect. I love her. Um, and besides, you still haven't answered me. Who are you and what are you doing here? I told her who I was. Yeah, they shook hands. No, she said that yeah. to the rest of you. I'm Very brother. clearly I'm to the rest of you and not to Aridin. <laughs> I- I'm his brother, Theo. I'm, I'm Irina. Um, I... she, she says, hold on, pot, one second, Nicole. When yeah. you say, I, I'm, I'm his brother, she says, younger brother? No, no, no. Oh. Yes. <laughs> 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 Lady is really not on my side right now. Go ahead, Irina. I think I'm gonna. I'm Irina uh, Kulyana, and then I'm gonna pause and look at Sophie and be like, "What's your last name?" Sylvain. You're gonna hyphenate. <laughs> Sylvain. Sylvain. Then say that. <laughs> yeah, I was double checking that I got that. I right. assume Pharaoh and Emerald also introduced themselves. They introduced yeah, themselves. Yeah, I'm close. Um, we're trying to convert him to Sabras. What were you gonna say, Bobby? Just that we're we're doing this death curse thing. Don't know if you're aware of this. Hmm. It's killing all your subjects. Yeah, so, it's you know, destroying your land. So, I don't care, but it's kind of well, important. Then best of luck to you in defeating it. Thanks. I would give you an army, but I don't have one right now. But I'm sure the merchant princes will give me one as soon as all of this is cleared up. Oh yeah, I'm you sure. And the merchant we spoke with get along. <laughs> earlier. We'll pass along your regards if you if you want. Good. Okay. Well, good luck with the the pamphlets. Uh, I'm and gonna leave and she... be like. Go ahead, Go ahead Jake. Oh, she turns to Aridin and said, "It was excellent to meet you." Ooh. She likes one of us. I'm a leave, yeah. but like, I wish you great wisdom. You have much need of it. <laughs> and leave. <laughs> Be like, on my heel, leave. I Aaron, not how like old are you? What are we? Uh, older than this 20? bitch and less attitude. That's how old. Right, but Older's like, generally how old? Like, really, cool. actually, how old are we? We're like 20, 40. right? I think we said like 20s, 2, 21, something like that. Oh, okay. we've been I have it written 20. down if you guys really want to know. I was going to make fun of you for being a cradle robber if you were, like, you know, 30 or 40. <laughs> no, no, they're 21. Oh, young. <laughs> Good to know she's there, though, if we ever want to be, you know, power behind the throne types. If we ever want to be kingmakers? We can't rule it out. I rule it out. This lady is the worst. It is absolutely, at this point, absolutely unclear to me that we can get off this plane or reliably get back to our plane. So, like... Setting myself up as the Grand Vizier of... Um, Boris wants to be Varys, is what I'm getting. No, Jafar. <laughs> either of those would work. I think being Jafar is more fun, though. I'm pretty sure nothing bad happened to either of them, so I'm set. Things are unraveling fast now, boy. Exactly. It's a pun. Get it? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Salik leads you guys further down, through the monastery, back through the shrine. Uh, I, I'm gonna ask Salik on the way if he like knows what the deal is with her. She's the worst. <laughs> she is under our monastery's care. She well, is she's the worst. She is the ruling line. The you know, she and her uh, b- younger brother no. uh, are the last two members of the royal line of Isabel. I'm gonna ask: Is her brother a jerk too? Or just her. Her brother is six years old. Is he a jerk? He's- Probably a jerk. No, he's, Are they he's not? a nice boy. Oh, that's good. Bookish. Are they not? Uh, oh, sorry. Fascinated with, with us. He has a a bird costume <laughs> that he wears. 
That's kind of cute. I'm Fake picturing language. Isabella's cousin from Gallivant. Prince Harry. Are, are they not welcome in um, the city, in the port? Oh, they are. They just like to be up here above everyone. Ah, okay. Oh, they uh, like to be down mm, on their subjects. Mm. Got it. We've met one other like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Irina doesn't really like power people. <laughs> Hitler. I'm just gonna be like, well, does old Sleek, other memory person that you have, like, know anything about her? Like, has she always been like this? And basically. Okay, well, she doesn't have my vote. That's all I'm just saying. What it's worth, I think some of it comes from teacher inflating her ego, but. Dude, I thought teacher was cool, man. She needs to get together. No, teacher's fantastic. She needs to... Does yeah. teacher want um, her back on the throne? Uh, yes, and I think teacher wants an elevated position for the monks of Kirsabal. Mm. A bird would want an elevated position. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, Aridin, I missed you. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, you know... We have a super strong in with that Merchant Prince Council. I, I want to do a little, uh, and Sophia does. a little alternate yeah. self-diving. Mm -hmm. um, that revolutionary group that I was leading. Yeah. Like, I kind of know what we thought of her. Like, were we trying to bring her back or were we... Trying to manticore poison her. <laughs> Who's this? What? I, I want to figure out if my, uh, that, 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 like, revolutionary group I was Charisma calling. check, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, the Forsaken one cult? No, 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 no. The revolutionary group in, uh... My, my doppelganger in Isari. Oh, okay. In Orem. He was gonna kill Pharaoh. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -do. You're not sure what their position was with relation to the monarch. It's been quite some time since there was an Isari monarch, and especially not in the east, right? Like, mm -hmm. most of the east of uh, Isari was occupied by Azamar for the last several hundred years. Right. Um, I think even over a thousand years. Um, in the far west, Which where we are. the remainder... Ah, uh, you guys are sort of in the middle. Oh, okay. Um, right at the edge, really. Um, want a hot dish? In the far west, where the, the Isari kingdom was, um, it was too far from your revolutionary group, so. I see. So Orem was not originally part of, like, this woman's Isari kingdom? Uh, no. Okay. Gotcha. Makes sense. Okay. Cool. Mild curiosity. Um, now I have a slight headache. You also know that your people... Um, we're mostly from, actually, from Azamar. East. Yeah, east, across the bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. And didn't like how people on this side of, people from across the bridge were being treated in Orem. Interesting, okay. Very interesting. Yeah. You don't cool. really know how they feel about the Isari monarchy, though. Gotcha. Uh... <laughs> All right. Uh, when you guys get back to uh, the place that they've got set up for you, um, Jazan has already got a meal going. It's absolutely Please. fried chicken. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Excellent. Said that. Now Lily wants fried chicken. Jungle chicken. <laughs> Jungle chicken. <laughs> um, Salik makes a little face and then just like, like, and you guys all look and then he goes, no, just kidding. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's most of what we eat. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um, cool. Is it too soon to make a joke about just to, like want some extra wings just in case? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, is there anything else anyone wants to do before bedtime? Uh, I want to talk a little bit with Sophia. Yeah. Um, yeah. I want to uh, ask her where where did you grow up? Um, did you live with both your parents? Yeah. Um, so she will fill you in, and you and I can have a talk later cool. to flesh some of that out. Sounds good. Uh, but uh, essentially, the Sylvanes are a noble family in uh, the Thardassian Peninsula. <gasps> oh, this also means that 
that guy is your half brother. Oh, the dwarf. Marin, yes. Yeah. Uh, Marin is your half brother uh, through your mother. Right. Um, right. Uh, Once removed on his mother's sake. <laughs> Uh, and uh, he is older than the both of you. Um, I'm assuming I'm the youngest. He is from before your mother met your father. Gotcha. Um, yes, you are the youngest. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I told you guys. I already told you guys some stuff about Thargassia and uh, what happened in the Nine Kingdoms, the calamity. I did, but it's okay. Okay. We'll I'll, I'll look. We'll okay. talk about it when it becomes relevant again. Okay. <laughs> Most important thing about Pargasia, that's where Mary's from. She grew I up, grew in, up these in these woods. <laughs> 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 and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, she'll talk to you as long as you yeah. want about stuff. And you and I can flesh some of that out later. Sounds good. Anything else anyone wants to do before bedtime? I'm just... Nope. I can Is Pharaoh gonna do like a prayer to Sovereus? Sure, yeah. Like, I don't know what Pharaoh's bedtime ritual is. Yeah, it probably involves that. But if he does that, I'm gonna be like, hey, can I get in on your praying tonight? Absolutely. <laughs> Dude, the other night you were in on my praying. Pick a god. Dude, I'm just putting the chips on all the numbers. You know what I'm saying? Catch your bets. Yeah. If you put a chip on every number, you can't lose at roulette. That's right. I'm gonna find out what the name of that cat god is. I'm gonna put a chip on that roulette too. <laughs> Watch me. Uh, I'm just. We're gonna like. I don't know. I follow his lead, but then when it's time for me to talk during like the prayer to I'm just be like, I was serious when I wished that lady great wisdom. If she ends up being in power, she needs great wisdom. So it's I'm like, really all right. Sincere about uh, that. So the first thing you got to do is um, is get on your knees. Yeah. Get cool. On his knees. Uh, <laughs> I'm following. I do that. And then you gotta make the 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 hand symbol of Sovereign, which is like. A circle, and then you point at your eye. Got it. You've seen me do this every night before, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, you've never seen him do this before. It's fine. Uh, and then he's like, and then you got to face the east? No, the west. North. you got to face north. And you see he, like, turns three times, and he's not facing north. Okay, that's fine. Um, he's like, and then, and then you recite from the, the Book of Sovereigns. Oh, Sovereign, who sees all and knows all and can know the future, show us your visions. All right, whatever. And he's very when clearly I, just making shit up to impress you. Off, I say my little thing, and then I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. <laughs> uh, That's the main thing. I, I guess in your defense, Theo... Give that crazy bitch some wisdom is probably a more coherent prayer than Sovereigns usually gets from Pharaoh, so... That's how I feel. Absolutely. Um, I feel like it's very direct what I'm asking for. Theo, if you want to give me an insight check. Still, that Pharaoh's full of shit. <laughs> oh, no, you that can... Good. That you don't need a check for. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I only got a check for this, alright. Sorry, there was a sock thief. Oh, is it a puppy? So cute. Or a house elf? House elf puppy? Both. <laughs> Uh, so, Theo, um, you realize that some of her headstrong nature and, uh, uh, you know, just insistence that everyone's on her side may be a more naivety than, uh, hubris. Doesn't mean she has wisdom. I'm still wishing for wisdom. Not sure. Yeah, of course. You're not sure she's ever left this, this place. She's never left Kirsten Mm. She's so totally Daenerys. I'm just, yeah. She's taking a really, really, really hot bath as we speak. <laughs> I'm gonna... With her dragon egg. I mean... <laughs> bird egg. Bird egg. Bird egg. Um, cool. Anything anyone else wants to do before bedtime? Alright. Cool. So this is you guys' first night not in the, uh... The, uh... The fortress. fortress. The Darren's Instant Fortress, yeah. No, no, Darren's Darren. And you guys have, like, actual beds and stuff. Nice. Ooh. We, we had cops at the other place. Got, yeah, but it all smelled like black <laughs> This one all smells like bird. You happy now? It's a different smell, at least. <laughs> we it up a little bit. Ha, 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 ha. All right. 
Um, you guys have a nice night's sleep. Uh, oh, yeah. Your evening is mostly uneventful. Um, I'll take a round of perception checks. He says, shortly after saying the night was uneventful. <laughs> And then he says, was it? God, these rolls. Bobby, you missed it earlier. There was some wisdom thing, and I got... Oh, well, good. I see nothing. You slept like a baby. Aradin. <laughs> yeah? You wake up, not quite wake up, but you sort of stir in the night. Um, and you see Emeril standing in the doorway of the house. And then you see him walk with some purpose straight out the door. Does the door lead to death? The door goes out onto the, like, the, the wooden walkway that's just like open and out there. Go after it. Shut up your sleep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow. No, no, that was the voice of Sovereign. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, was the father, son, the Holy Ghost. You. It was Theo in his sleep being Aaron. like, go after it. You you get up and you and you go out the door and you part the curtain again, um, or actually the curtain probably is still open, um, and you don't see him anywhere. There's maybe like five or ten feet until the ledge. Emerald. Emerald. I want to check back in the room and just make sure I didn't hallucinate that. And Emerald's not just sleeping tight in his bed. Uh, go ahead and give me another perception check. Um, you go in there and you see an empty bed where Emerald was sleeping. Uh, I'm gonna wake Theo up. I. What is it? Go after him. Get it. <laughs> uh, I don't know where Emerald went. He walked out the door. Hey, and he's he right there. Walk. That's an empty bed. I'm like hitting it, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's empty. No one's there. Saying, ow. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna kick uh, Koros and Pharaoh and like you know get it, wake up the gang and Arena. Just like kick everyone. Be like, hey, Emerald's gone. Look for Emerald. Send him for uh, uh -huh. Talk to Sovereign. Find that bitch. Give me some perception checks. All of us. I, From I feel is like awake. I'm not perceptifying. Uh, but not Aaron because you already did. I, I guess I got kicked awake, right? Yeah. 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 So I guess we're kind of awake. Kicked everybody. I'm gonna slap whoever tried to kick me in the leg. <laughs> uh, Irina, do you want to make one? Yeah. Okay, Koros, you notice that someone else is also missing. It is that stranger who knocked on your door in the in the the other day and uh, led you oh. guys through the jungle. Oh, oh the dear. guy who was like, I don't know where I am, but he was lying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bobby was here all. last yeah, week. So I was. I was not there for that, though oh, right. obviously was. Yeah. Um, okay. We were in Darzan's instant fortress in the jungle, and this bitch comes up, and he's like, hey, and we're like, who are you? And he's like, I'm lost. And we're like, yeah, whatever. He was asking for lost. food, and then a job, and then to just, like, work for you guys in exchange for food, and you guys are like, fine. He's uh, really changing the story a lot. And he was doing that door-to-door -door at pop-up fortresses in the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it seems uh, like... In the middle and of a storm. But, while you guys but, were traveling to Kirsabal... He said, oh, we don't want to go that way. There are some tigers over there. And then we were like, okay, tigers. And we sent the bird up, and there were actually tigers. And we were like, oh, okay, he knows what he's talking about. And that happened two or three times. He helped you guys avoid a few hazards on the way to Kirsabal. He seems chill. Yeah, so, like, he's chill. He seems chill. Time. Now him and Emerald are missing in the middle of the night. That part's not, so not quite so chill. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm like, uh, I bet I'm they're like, doing that, that black drug. Do some divination mm. shit, figure out where he is, and Koro, send a bird out. I don't know, do some magic. I don't understand magic. I'm, I can only shout really loud. Which yeah, I don't think birds go. are really into. I'll go look and, I don't know, peek over Pharaoh the says, edge of the... If we're too loud, sorry, if we're too loud, we'll wake everyone else up. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a missing so, person! Don't we want everyone awake? All your dragon bones and shit, dude. Uh, I'm gonna send the Good bird idea. Out. I'm gonna send... He's useless. I'm gonna send the bird out and just start doing a spiral search pattern. I don't I'm think gonna... anything, but you might want to check down. Pharaoh yeah, cast that's augury. Like. And if we if we make noise and wake everyone up, we'll woe or neither. Um and he rolls and he says, Whoa, we shouldn't wake everyone up. Okay. Damn. Irina, you, what were you saying? I was gonna go peek over the edge of the you know, where where yeah, it's yeah. yeah. It's dark, and there are some clouds passing by because you guys are so high up. 
You mm -hmm. can't really see. Like, you can see some of it. It's still jungle down there. There's canopy. Okay. Watch night vision. In this game. Emerald did. <laughs> Do I have. I can light things on fire. Do you have anything glowy that's not combustible that we can drop off the edge? Like, I don't mm. want to start a forest fire. Yeah. Um. Oh! Aaron, you should just glide down there and give you a ring of Heatherfall. <laughs> you have to get back. <laughs> Alex is not ready to be called on this bluff yet. <laughs> Theo, Theo's in the other room doing the augury with Pharaoh. Don't worry about it. Oh no, I can't find my ring of Heatherfall right now for some reason. <laughs> Um, I have... And the guy mm. who actually knows for the fallen would save you if you jumped is not here. Yeah. <laughs> um. I don't know. I have blinding smite. find a bird person. I feel like we should... We're Salik. Yeah, Salik's sleeping with us? Salik. Aaron, I can just turn you into a bird. Salik is, is, Do it. is sleeping upstairs. But yeah. Do it. Make it so. Aaron is now a giant eagle. Cool. Amazing. Why have you ever turned giant eagle. eagle before? It's never really come up before. You know what? <laughs> giant I've eagles are the solution to all thing. problems, as we have learned from Lord of the Rings. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna go get Frodo. <laughs> You're not uh, I wanna go straight down anymore. off of the, the ledge. It's not like I was the person who always wanted to be a raven. No, yeah. totally nah. fine. You yeah, fly down the through the David. clouds, past the canopy, until you can get close to the ground and get a good look with your eagle eyes. Yes. Um, give me a perception check with advantage. Ooh. Look at how much I can see. A fuck ton. <laughs> you do not spy uh, a dead body of Emeril on the ground because he committed suicide, because that That's appears good. not to have been what happened. That's excellent. <laughs> Maybe he learned how to fly? Maybe he flew away. Maybe. Uh, can I just, like, check the skies around? Do a couple big sweeps? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, give me another one of those perception checks with advantage. Look for two birds together. <laughs> uh, you see some wildlife, a few, like... Like jungle owls. I don't know what the jungle equivalent of an owl is besides just an owl. Um, other nocturnal creatures, but no, no emerald. Hmm. Okay. Um, I guess I'll come back then. Yeah, I guess. Well, meanwhile, I'm assuming we're walking around the area. Can I, like, uh, from an aerial perspective, scope out the buildings that are connected and see if I can see them, like, through a window just chilling in a building, yep. maybe? Yep, you can fly around. Give me another perception check. Oh, I'm getting worse. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, can I suggest another augury to Pharaoh? Yeah. He's can like, you... I only have so many of these, and they become less effective the more I use it. Okay, whatever. But can you just, like, ask... <laughs> What do you mean they get less effective? Sophros doesn't get, like, less all-knowing. That's fine. Sophros just it, gets... It goes from being wheel and woe to... Ooh. <laughs> he gets <laughs> less willing to answer obnoxious questions from mortals. Can you ask if Emerald and that guy are still nearby? That's not a wheel, woe, or neither. You suggest a specific uh, oh, course of oh, action. Oh, okay. Uh, can... I have other spells where I can directly ask Sophros some questions, but... Uh... I don't know. Like... I, I... Cool. Well, they're doing Sovereign shit. I'm gonna go off muttering about Sovereign and fate and how nothing's really predestined and go look for Emerald. Oh, Walk around and... Hey, that's good, that's good. You can give me uh, an investigation check. Okay. Investigation. Ooh, we've been using it more. Fun. <laughs> I like investigation. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Game that's bad. <laughs> You find Sherlock's no okay. evidence of Emerald or that stranger. I, because I have no idea how paladins work, Aridin, going to try and Indigo Montoya, pull out my sword and say, mm. Morning Lord, I need you to guide my sword. <laughs> Bring me to Emerald. <laughs> Not off the ledge, please don't take me straight off the ledge, but in his general direction. Where are you pointing when you say this? I, just holding my sword up. I'm 
Oh, I... Aridin's experience being a paladin was I asked for help one time and I got it. <laughs> You're holding so... it up and you sort of you feel it lean this way and you feel it lean that way and it's starting to get a bit heavy. Roll me a d8. <laughs> It leads you that way. <gasps> He's this way. Just follow the trail. Cool. Which way. very quickly leads you sort of into the, like into an alley between two buildings that then just ends at the cliff. This must be where he disappeared. Into another dimension. Mm. My God. <laughs> Is there any sign of them there? Or any. It's a very suspicious bottle cap. Mm, no. Optimistical. Optimistical. <laughs> I got nothing. Me either. I assume my bird also saw nothing. If, like, I eagle guess. eyes didn't, I don't tell the raven's going to. I guess we can try, like, a more direct, like, hey, Sovereign, where are they at? So. Uh, Pharaoh says I could try scrying. Scrying is good. They had some holy water up in that place where we washed our hands and feet, but not our faces. Okay. Oh. No, that actually, Theo defiled that. We gotta wait for them to swap it out. Wait, Pharaoh, I thought you just had holy water. I don't have a no, fog of big... holy water. Yeah. I think he has a silver mirror now, but I could be wrong. I, he had a way to get it. It's fine. We can go. He's like, we'll just go get the holy water. Yeah, we'll just okay. go break into the place. It'll be fine. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I, I'm walking. I'm going. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, do 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 do. I mean, it's just gonna lead you back to this alley, but Does okay. Fine. Anyone have like Emerald's hair or something? Uh. Or something that belongs to him? Didn't we back when we pranked him? Didn't we steal something from him? Does Emerald have a wristband? I don't recall. We never he? got him a wristband. No, I thought, okay, we, no, we made a new set whenever we were in the last city we were in. In Orem? Yeah. That's right, you guys gave him one. He does have one, and so does Koros. Okay. Uh, I have a mysterious frog liver jar, mysterious dried herb jar. I, I don't know, I have some random things. I don't think I have anything of this. Sarah, do you have, like, a book that he read? You guys share books a lot. Oh, I have 50 pythons, and one time he borrowed them. He digs down, and he pulls out a little piece of ash from the bottom of his pack, and he says, those books that we took from the Amber Temple? <laughs> there you go. I don't Perfect. know if this counts as, as something of his, though. Oh, well, it was his fault, wasn't it? Isn't everything? There you go. <laughs> uh, and he says, all right, and he, he runs over, and he, and he goes into the thing and he looks around he doesn't see anyone in the the washroom and he goes up to one of the basins and he sets the little bit of ash in the basin and he's whispering the verbal components of the spell uh and emerald needs to make a wisdom saving throw oh no that's good because i mean that's bad because he has a good one uh he's good at them could be interesting can he roll badly uh, wisdom very... save. Ha! Pretty bad. Not good. And he gets minus things because uh, you guys are familiar with him, so that's minus five. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Pharaoh gets a vision. He's like, I see him. He's flying through the air with a man in blue robes. Oh. <laughs> Red robes was the thing, right? Yes. Yeah, the wizards, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's uh, fine. Well, we don't know that. We just yeah. someone else. So it's fine. You have, I will tell you guys, because it, was it wasn't that long ago in game time, um, you guys do recall seeing a blue-robed wizard uh, yeah. who was uh, in interplanar customs. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh All my god, Emerald got road. deported. <laughs> uh, they know he's not from this plane. The rest were red-robed wizards, but there was one blue-robed wizard who was asking you questions. Um, Hello. Uh, and the, he says the, the, the wizard in blue robes looks to be like a bald elf. Oh my god. 
Mm. I pulled off to ask this question. Looks really familiar. Oh, does it look like? I can't remember his name. Uh, okay. Emerald's dad. Not like Emerald's dad. No, the guy from Asmore. The guy from oh. Interplanar Customs. Yeah. I don't remember his name. Uh, I'm gonna make Pharaoh roll. I don't know. Wisdom. No, okay. Who was the guy in Barovia that weirdly looks like Emerald's dad? We're not not that, that guy. That's Casimir. Okay. That's Casimir. Casimir. Yeah. That was his name. See, that was all I couldn't remember. Go ahead. Fair was like, he looks really familiar, but I can't place him. <laughs> Can you tell where they are, or where they're? Yeah, what direction are they? Flying travel? over the jungle. Can where? you see where? the, see the, the moon city on their left? anywhere? The moon's on there. God damn it, Pharaoh. They're going east. <laughs> oh no. Alright, so he's gone. Like, we're never... Getting him back. Okay. What are they saying? Can you hear what they're talking? They're not talking. Well, why don't you have the bird fly east while we... Yeah. Figure I this out. Right. On the off chance Pharaoh's correct, I'll send the bird after it for a while. Yeah. Go, bird, go. Um... Best life, bird. In case Pharaoh's wrong, can I send my bird west? <laughs> That's not how your bird works. All right, so you're sending Damn your it, bird Jim. east. Close. Yes. All right. <laughs> One direction we can be almost <laughs> certain bird. not. But... Yeah, definitely not east. <laughs> Arrow didn't steal a bird for like 57 more minutes. Well, I don't know how long cast time scrying is. I really don't want to end up back on an orm and no way to get back. <laughs> That's fair. Can you like... Mm, I'll chase him if you want me to. Do you want me to? He's struggling in this vision? Is he... He seems to be going with this. Does he look with it? Like he's... Aware? He's aware? Or is he like sleepwalking? He seems aware. He seems awake. This is Pharaoh talking. Does he seem <sighs> sad or happy? He seems like Emerald. Oh, so grumpy. Just turmoil. So, so Monty is disdainful. <laughs> I'm just picturing him like just soaring through the night sky, scowling. Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a perception check. Uh, Pharaoh, do you have a spell that could send a message to him? Uh, let me answer that right after I make this perception. Earl, check. Earlier, I was like, "What? Well, no, does. Doesn't one of our wizards have like sending or?" Yes. Message or something. Pharaoh does have sending, but Quarus no, might doesn't. not. Have Pharaoh does not have spent sending. Okay, but I mean, like, it's on the cleric spell list. Like, in a day, he it's, could. Yeah, it is not. No, because the cantrips are, you pick a, you pick which ones you have. It's not a cantrip. Sending's like a third level spell. Oh, is it? Yeah. You're thinking of message, which is probably yeah. not long. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, like animal messenger. That's what your raven is, Lily. It's just imbued with Sending is not on here. Really? <clears throat> And Animal Messenger we can't do because you have just to mean have that a He doesn't have it written everything. down as one that he wants to have available to him. Right, but like clerics can prepare any of them, right? As long uh, as we take I don't know how it works in fifth. Okay, well, we'll worry about it now though. Well, maybe Emerald's just going on a journey of self-discovery. He's been going through a lot lately. He has. If he's yeah, well, we could just let him go with the blue dude. And I'm a little bit yeah. sad to say goodbye, but... I'm not so sure about letting him... Oh, sorry. With that 20 perception check, Pharaoh says, wait, I see something. The, you know, the cloud moves past the moon. His eyes are black. Oh. That's not good. That's less good. That's that's what was happening with the uh, drug, right? The crazy yeah. wizard thing. I'm going to ask, uh, is he wearing the wristband? Is Emerald wearing the wristband? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, we need to get all is lost. to him or something. Um, um, do, do we? I mean, he... Yes. No, no, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying abandon him forever, but like... Only for a short while. Well, we got some prioritization here Coros to do. Coros has a point about the death curse. I kind yeah, of we know that some of you are dying, right? I, I, I'm, uh, I'm aware. <laughs> I don't like to ever be on Coros' side, but I'm kind of on Coros' side. Well, we have to at least get in contact with him. That's what we have the raven for, and we have a spell we can use. We send the bird after him. We think. Okay. Pharaoh, okay. If the bird doesn't work, we can do a spell thing later, right, Pharaoh? Pharaoh can keep scrying him. We'll keep tabs on him. 
but I, I think we have to go get this stupid flower and, and, you know, save the world. I think that's more important. Okay, well, while we're all talking about this, I'm gonna, um, I guess, since you guys are all in agreement, I'm gonna go off and um, sit down on the edge of the little, you know, whatever, and uh, look up at the sky and... Um, I, I don't feel like, an agreement, but I feel... <laughs> Pressure. Yeah, consensus pressure, sure. I feel um, that. And pray, uh, uh, Mother Knight, I know I haven't uh, exactly been talking with you, but um, uh, if you could uh, keep my friend safe and guide him, he has had some troubled times. Um, I don't want any further harm to come to him. Jake's nodding, and I don't. I hope that's as Mother Night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am God, so. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I assume the Morning Lord was just rolling his eyes at me, walking in circles in the alley. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like Jesus, you were following I lost, I lost Arena, and I got this morning one. Morning Lord. I'm gonna double check that alley one more time. You find nothing. Damn. Mm. Oh, you said you're checking the alley again? <laughs> no, joke. no, I'm being serious. Are you? Yeah. Because if you do in character, I will go with you in character. Like, yeah. You're like, right here. You the... said it was right here. And we're like looking for clues and shit. Like, I'm sure this is where they took off from. Yeah. Can, can I, can I like, do the last survival check? On the ground and the tracks? Yeah, sure, Theo. Great. Right. <laughs> figured it out. Ah, oh, yeah. You're yeah. like, those are his tracks. Definitely. There's a Definitely. footprint there, and then it goes up. <laughs> the tracks go up. And like any tracks he sees is obviously like bird feet. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm convinced. Irrefutable evidence. <laughs> I've been watching how Eku does tracking, and I I've picked up a lot. Actually, that's a good point. Eku. <laughs> what does a blue-robed wizard signify? Eku is asleep. Yeah, I was gonna say you're gonna kick her awake. No, yeah, let's no, go. No, kicking, you kick people. Let's I go shake her and ask her about interplanetum customs. I have officially well, you know. <laughs> this as like a next eight hours priority. So when Eku wakes up, um, oh, like you're gonna wait. Yes. What? Okay. Really? <laughs> Did you have another plan? No. <laughs> I don't believe we're going to find him tonight. Right, but I mean... So I would like to get my beauty sleep back. <laughs> my well, delicate you half over features. You can't care about beauty. I know you got them back, but still. <laughs> Didn't you used to be all hair and no teeth? No, wait. All hair was emerald. Yeah. No but teeth. I did have no teeth. Yeah, no teeth. So I guess beauty is very important to him now. <laughs> that's yeah, that's what I'm going to say. I don't sleep eight hours a night. My teeth will fall out again. <laughs> I have no more urgent things to do besides, like, occasionally look out through the bird's eyes. Um, I'm open to other suggestions. No. Uh, if, he, if he wants to be gone, he's probably gone, but I'm scared with the eye thing. It makes I think me our best like chance is control. trying to get that orchid as soon as we can, fixing this, because everyone's dying, including Emerald. Yeah, we'll just do the quick time. orchid thing, kill Soulmonger, super lickety split, done, then Emerald search. Yep. Yes, we do That's need to. That's incredibly easy. Yep. <laughs> incredibly fast, too, because this shit, my skin falling off, I'm not a fan. Yeah, you need to really be sleep, too. really diminishes the beauty of my biceps. You want to ask yeah. the bird to keep, like, a loofah while we're here? Yeah. And yeah, they're, like, it's ceremonial boring. loofahs. Sacramental loofahs. <laughs> 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 Jake's not answering. I don't know. They don't exist. <laughs> is this like a healing place? Can't you come here to heal? They totally. I don't think Jake's spoken in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's just no, 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 glad he said was I'm God, right? <laughs> He's very much allowing us to spin ourselves in circles here, just like God. <laughs> yeah. All right. I I agree, with Koros. I don't think there's more we can do tonight, so I'm okay to go to bed and keep working on it in the morning. Okay. While looking for sacramental loofahs. <laughs> All right. 
see you in right, the next in day. the morning, well, yeah, unless something else is going to happen nope, overnight. you're good. Go ahead. In the morning, Eku, um, we, we've met red-robed wizards, and it was uh, unpleasant. What does a blue-robed wizard signify? If I recall, I believe that means they're a member of the arcane circle. What's that? Uh, the circle that rules the mages. So it's a, it's a big wizard. An important yes. wizard. Like a boss wizard? Like a boss so, wizard. A member of the arcane circle came to us in the jungle undercover, hung out with us for a day, and then the next night stole away with Emerald? After giving him super magic drugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. I bet everything's fine. Okay. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> um. Do you. Uh, how do you feel about the arcane circle? Are they known for their, like, incredibly ethical practices? No. <laughs> do they compost a lot? They kidnap children. <laughs> they what? They, tr they kidnap children and oh. train them to be mages. I thought that was the red robe guys. That is the red robe. I think guys. the blue ones are in charge. Oh, yeah, they're they're in charge. They're like their little minions. The blue ones are the circle of leaders in charge of the red ones. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not like good. Extra well, kidnap children. That's who. Uh, that's who kidnapped Emerald last night. So. Um. Emerald's not a child. I mean, how he's an elf, right? How long do they live? Exactly. It's all relative. I have a suspicion that whatever they want him for is not, good. not the same as what they kidnapped the children for, but yeah, also not great. And also a suspicion. The black guys kind of give that away. I'm I'm scared that Emerald, Emerald, Grouchy, Emerald, who we somehow like, somehow is not going to come back. Me too. I'm worried that he'll come back as the other one. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't disagree exactly. I'm like I said. I'm not saying we shouldn't find him. I'm saying I don't think we're gonna find him tonight. Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, have to deal with this after we save the world. Okay. So, so comes by in the morning. Uh, says, so you guys headed to Mangalore right away, or? Yes. We yeah. We'll do haste. It's all right. Um, do you have any like snack packs? Uh, and he says, um, I know you have a large party, we'd be happy to host some of them here while you travel to Nangalore and back. That would aid our speed, yes. Everyone other than the cook. Uh, I, I'm gonna ask Irina if she wants to tell Sophia to stay behind. Sophia is gonna tell Sophia to stay behind. Okay, because I was like, it's not really my place, but I feel yeah. like she should stay behind. Why is Sophia talking to herself? <laughs> Ro, Flora, Inete, Sophia are all gonna stay behind. Eku is going to lead you guys to Nangalore. And Drazan, uh, obviously. Drazan has got to come with you because Pharaoh's like, no, no, yeah. Drazan's coming. Drazan's coming. <laughs> I'll um, give Sophia a hug and tell her I'll bring her a flower. <laughs> she says that would be lovely. Hi, baby. Um, Salik says, for old time's sake, do you want me to come with? If you Bobby, want. You're offering. I'm so down. Yeah, I think. It'd be great to have you back. And I show the wristband. Uh, he says, I, I think I could do with a little bit of adventure. Does he have his wristband? <laughs> it's uh, quite he does indeed. He... Solid. Solid. Wait, what? Birds allowed? I thought that was a thing, right? What? Oh, yeah. What's, yeah. I assume my bird fell. I, I assume they went northwest. My says, bird uh, what teacher knows doesn't need to... What teacher doesn't know can't hurt her. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> and did, yeah, did the bird find anything? Besides, anything? old Salik is not allowed to visit Nangalore. This is new Salik. I'm a different Salik. Mm. Your teacher definitely might not see that that way, but, you know, <laughs> welcome. But I hear what you're saying. Uh, and Jake, did the bird find anything? Uh, Quoros' bird flew all night and has not caught up. Okay. What's your bird's flying speed? I don't know. I imagine slower than his bird. Yeah, probably it's slower than the... Um, it's probably 40, 50. 50. 50. Okay. Your bird has not caught up. I'm going to summon him back. Like, this right. is... It'll be a few hours. Yeah, no, for sure. 
He'll catch up. Yeah. I mean, he's not familiar, right? I can, like, dismiss him back to the astral plane and just bring him back. Whatever. He'll fly back. <laughs> <laughs> he'll fit it in. Cool. It's good for his cardio, you know? <laughs> All right. So you guys uh, start head back down the path. It is uh, the four of you, Pharaoh, Salik, Eku, and Drazan. Yeah. Only eight people. Only yeah. eight people. We really trimmed the fat. Yeah. Got rid of the dinosaur. That's important. No, the dinosaur is still down below. Oh, right. He's coming with <laughs> No, the dinosaur's coming. <laughs> the dinosaur's here. Um, all right. And, uh, guys are Do we ever name here. the hadrosaur? I think you did. I'm sure we must have it something and then forgot. did. I don't remember I what. flower. You gotta watch I all the... something. You have to watch the past episodes and go remember. <laughs> Can I Christmas check? Now it's called Flower. You guys just come up with a different name for it every episode. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like everybody that. check on Flower. He's eating all the flowers. <laughs> There's something water related, I feel. Yeah, I'll have something about that. Yeah, no, you're totally right, Arena. I'm making this up. Uh, I, I no, I like it better. We're going to do that. And I think <laughs> uh, that is probably a good stopping point for tonight. Next week, right. we'll venture through the jungle and go to Nangalore. Ooh. Um... Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, in case it wasn't obvious, uh, Ben has been written off because he uh, is going to be gone for the summer. He's got a few different conflicts and then some longer conflicts, and so uh, he's just going to step out for the summer. Um, he will be back in the fall. Um, in the meantime, uh, we may have the return of one of our uh, dear friends, Lincoln. He is finally back in the United States uh, and uh, was considering joining us tonight, uh, but should be able to join us hopefully by next week or uh, in a couple weeks. Um, other news, uh, we're going to be switching what night of the week we stream on, uh, so we will no longer be competing with Critical Role, uh, <laughs> among other reasons, to move off of Thursdays. Um, so we will be moving to Wednesday nights. Um, the current plan is to have that be the same time, just on Wednesday nights. Uh, I'm still figuring out exactly when we'll switch, but we'll probably switch over on June 20th. Uh, that'll probably be uh, our first Wednesday. I thought it was Mondays. No, no Brandon has... Brandon oh, yeah. okay, never mind. We're going to be on Wednesdays. Uh, uh, and I don't think I have any other announcements besides, um, you know, like the page for notifications and stuff. Uh, go check out our Patreon. Uh, for cool stuff. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, please do comment on the video, message the page, give us your feedback. Uh, we want to know what you guys think. Uh, my players, please do message me tonight with your rose, thorn, bud. That is a thing you liked, a thing you didn't like, and a thing you are looking forward to. And with that, we'll see you all next week. Bye bye. Goodbye. See ya. Please say goodbye. <laughs> Kitty, wave your tail. <laughs>